Hello! In this video, Valiant gives us a presentation on finance and how we can offer this finance to our customers or homeowners so that they can afford a new boiler when theirs is no longer working and needs to be replaced. Because a simple combination boiler change using the brand new Ecotech Plus combination boiler is going to cost your homeowner between two and a half and three thousand pounds, and that's for the bare minimum. So finance could really help your customers out. Now, I filmed this presentation at the Marriott Hotel in Portsmouth, where Valiant were giving a presentation on their brand new Ecotech Plus combination boiler. And if you want to watch that video, you'll find it in the cards above now, or of course down in the description. They also did a presentation on the heat pumps, which I made a separate video for and again find that in the cards or in the description just a week ago i installed the brand new valiant ecotech plus 826 and i'm going to make three videos to start off with all about this boiler the first video is all about commissioning this boiler and working your way through the various menus so you can set it up correctly because there are a couple of additional parameters which i've not seen before but i'll explain exactly what those mean so you can go through your commissioning process with no problems the second video is going to be all about this Senso Room Pure. This is a room thermostat which goes with this boiler and it also unlocks the timer which is in the boiler. So this is for a very simple operation for someone who doesn't want to use their smartphone to control the boiler and it is Boiler Plus. The third video is going to be for the customer or homeowner. So a simple video on how to set the hot water temperature, how to set your timer maybe, how to adjust the central heating temperature and of course a couple of fault codes like F22, F29, how to reset the boiler and of course topping it up. So once you've finished installing one of these boilers and explain to your customer how to use it, you can then point them in the direction of this video and then that has saved you time having to re-explain how to use the boiler. Right, that's enough from me. Now let's get on with this finance. Trace is here from Hiver. Um, I know one or two of you have already signed up for Hiver for the finance. Um, so L boilers are not the cheapest boiler out there. We know that. Um, there are 27 boiler brands out there, guys, all of which are cheaper in the, in the majority than us. Uh, 15 of those 27 are Italian manufacturers. And Italian manufacturers, when they make a boiler, they design it in such a way that it doesn't work on a Tuesday. Why would you want a boiler that works on a Tuesday? Um, ours works 24-7. Um, they're reliable largely, occasionally we get one or two issues but we fix them, um, which is where Dave comes in, um, but yeah, largely they're reliable, which is why you endorse them, specify them and install them. Um, the Germans are annoying, uh, they sometimes beat us at football and they steal all our sunbeds in Tenerife at four o'clock in the morning, we know that. Um, but you have to agree, they are very good engineers. And hopefully the takeaway moment I want you to take away today with the new boiler is this boiler is about as best in class as it is possible to build a gas combination boiler. That is all of our effort that's gone into that boiler. And if I didn't make the point earlier on, by the way, <clears throat> which I will do now, that is the last gas boiler that we're ever going to launch. So let that sink in for a moment. So <clears throat> it's going to be around a few years, but it is going to be the last full blown gas boiler because the next generation of oil is going to be hydrogen. So that links in nicely with Jace. How the hell do we sell a boiler that's over a thousand pounds? There's no, no point trying to beat about the bush. That boiler, you are going to have to pay over a thousand pounds for. You are going to need to pass that on to your end user. How do you justify that? When there are boilers out there that don't work on a Tuesday, there are 450, 499 pounds. So I do get that, there's 27 boiler brands. So <clears throat> this hopefully may make a difference to your ability to sell a valent boiler because all general public are under pressure out there. They are under pressure with their mortgages. The mortgage prices have gone up. Just watch Martin Money Savings got tips. Mortgages have gone up, taxes have gone up, food has gone up, energy has gone up. So, Christ Almighty, how do we sell a border over a thousand pounds? This is where Hyber will come in. All right. So, I'm going to hand over to Jace, and he's going to talk to you 
and he's going to demystify our oh, yes. He's going to demystify the world of finance. So I'll pass over to Joe. Thanks for me, sir. Keep this brief, guys. I know we've got not much time left in the last time, but um, as Simon said, I'll try and keep it simple. I do need to use a little bit of jargonated language at times, but I'll try and give it in layman's terms as well. Um, so here are a couple of what we're going to do. Who are we? Sorry, plans available. How finance works, why it's important, and how you get set up. So, the first point I want to raise is if people have heard of climate before, say three or four years ago, it's not the same climate as it was then. Back then, it was a two, a two brand, uh, two different sorts of work streams. You have finance, then you had an app where you could make parts ordering and, and closing and things like that. We dropped that side of the business. We're owned by a new company, and it's just finance that we do now to help keep the message clear to all of you. Um, the company that owns Hyper, what the Cozy Group, have been in the industry for a long time. So there is, um, we bought software because the interest is there, the expertise here in the company, not for myself, not there, but you know, if you do have some technical questions about your jobs and installations, there is additional support as well. And we've got the three packages, all of which are available on the Med Advanced app as well. And at the bottom, you'll see the price of those. Should you choose to purchase a plan through the Med Advanced app, you can remove that cost, use your cash rewards, and keep costs down for you. The first one, the standard plan, is free on the app, or additionally, it's £12 to you. However, this isn't a finance tool, it's just very simple um, access to our portal to do invoicing and quoting. But the two on the right, um, most important too. So, this is where I can use a little bit of foreign language to you. The first one is our plus plan, and this is where you are licensed as what's called an IAR, which stands for Introducer Appointed Representative. But in layman's terms, what that means is you can introduce a customer to finance and advertise that you do it even in a more simplified way. You just can't go into Mr. Christie in the details and ask uh, sir, those are questions should the customer want you to. Now the benefits of that is that it's cheaper, it's quicker to get, quicker to get set up, and some people don't want to have much responsibility in talking about the numbers and, and ask those questions because you know, through no fault of your own, you can do it with I can't do it and I can do it with that you don't do, right? None of you are probably finance experts, so we try to get a simple um, methods to finance for you if you want to. In addition, we've got the max plan, which despite what I've said, is the most popular because it does give you the freedom to talk about price per month, interest rates, 0% finance, and you can advertise a lot more aggressively if you wanted to. Um, again, it does give you the responsibility as well to answer questions should the customer want to prod you and ask a bit, a bit more about it. If you've got an elderly lady who has never used finance in her life, you can hopefully empower her and answer some questions and give, a chance, give yourself a chance to secure that set if you need it. In terms of setting up and recover more, both of those plans, because they are FCA regulated, there is an onboarding journey. Um, you'll give us all the information we need, we send all that off quickly, and then unfortunately we have to rely on the FCA to complete the checks and to get that license set up for you, which can take anything between 60 and 90 days from the date of submission. So once we've got all the information, we submit it on that day, and that's when we take that, that time frame. And the reason I mention that is because you know, we're middle of the summer now. If you're thinking through the heat season later in the year, finance could be a good tool for you, it's probably better to look to set up now, because unfortunately we get calls all the time and I'm gonna get it. Oh, I want to ask for finance, can you sort me out? Yes, okay. It's going to take some time. People don't expect that, so I just want to make that word to you. And as I said, all three are available through the Venom Plan Zone. And the onboarding part of all the plans ID, accreditations, complete set of subscription, and you have a training video on the platform as well, which will be relevant to the plan that you're on. And that training video will help you sort of get a bit more comfortable. Also, you can ask us any questions anyway. You know, that video gives you a bit of comfort to initially get set up and ask uh, some basic knowledge and how to use finance to talk about. Um, and then if you want the plus or the max plan, there will be some FCA of all form as well. That's plural, or should we speak form? Um, obviously no one likes forms, I get it, but it is something that has to be done. We try and make it simple for you. It's a carbon copy of what the FCA is going to ask, so we ask for everything up front, get it in one place, we can ship it off rather than going, we'll have that form first, have that form next, all in one, go, go. So we offer two types of finance. The first one is interest sparing. Now, this is something you're probably more familiar with. You're at home this evening, you watch the TV, carries out the TV, 29.9%, right? You know as a consumer what you're getting, what the interest rates are, you know what your rates going to be. On the left is the terms available, and on the right-hand side is a nice column saying there's no cost to you. So that word subsidy is a cost up to the install. Nothing there, it's called a cost-neutral product, 
gives you the ability to offer funds to customers straight away. All these products are flexible. You can offer just one of those, all of those, all of the next slide, or you can just keep things very simple. You can check the chocolate change as well. Um, but it's nice to have a cost neutral product for you because if you want an easy conversation, you can get, you can get it done. Now the next slide is what's called interest free. So I'll address the right hand side column straight away because to many of you, you've heard of interest free finance, but you won't know that's not actually free. Uh, fortunately, it is a, it's a marketing tool. There is a cost to that. Banks aren't known for charity and giving money away, we all know that. So they add what's called a subsidy. Now, any of you who have knowledge of this or have offered finance before or even finance now, will notice that despite those numbers being a bit alien, they are actually very competitive. Sorry for the bottom one, I'll address that's an unfortunate one, but those numbers are very competitive. Now, I'll, I'll fixate on this bit a little, a little bit, you guys. So you're probably thinking now, how do I factor that in? What does that mean to me? The thing to remember is that it's going to be taken off your fee when you get paid at the end of the installation. There's a few different ways you can do this, right? So what I said to one of the gentlemen earlier, I think it's, it's about here, but you with them, yeah. Um, and this is something we can't tell you what to do. You need to consider or assess the opportunity that you expect to get with finance. Straight away, you can be the simplest way. I'm going to use it every now and again, not very regularly. So I'd rather take that loss, secure that job, get the word about business and keep things clear for customers. So you can just do that anyway. On the other end of the scale, you could be like, do you know what? Business is growing, I want to increase sales, I've got to offer finance all over social media, all over my website, vans, leaflets, whatever. Therefore, I'm going to push it a lot and I don't want to take that hit regularly because you know that's going to add up. So you might say, I'm going to increase my price by that percentage up to be eight, ten, whatever you want, right? Or you can go somewhere in the middle. You can burn it. I'll use that now again, probably a bit more than what's in blue moon. Um, I'll do a four percent. You could say, I'll increase my price before, I'll take the loss before, and you can find a balance. Again, that can change, obviously. It's up to you to decide, I can only tell you what the options, what people do. Skip through this, we haven't got this time, but this is how the process works in simplest form. You've got a customer who's been identified as one in finance. What you pay for gives you access to our, our portal. You add them to the lead, purchase your information, and you send them a quote. That bit there, if you've got other quotes and software, continue using it, not try to take you away from anywhere else, but it is a mandatory step. So if you've got other software, you can just use it as a tick box exercise, fill it in, in its basic form, mark it as complete, no need to have to do to, uh, to remove your sample and other um, firm you're working with. But if you do want to use the software to its uh, full potential, you can. And then once you've done that, you send the customer a file application, which goes out an email, and they will apply on what's honestly, literally a one page document. If you've, if you've turned up a piece of it's three or four minutes to complete that application. Once they're approved, you'll get a notification by an email and a text. You put your installation in. Once that's done and signed off, you'll get paid in five minutes. And that last one, just remember, I'll bring it back. You get paid minus the subsidy. Okay, so remember, back at the end, should you want to see subsidy? Is the subsidy charged from the next sacrifice? So it's the, it's the, it's the subsidy to the installer. Calculated on the ink fab total price. Yeah, it'll be the whole, it'll be yes and also minus at the bottom. So if, it's, if, it's, if the job's two and a half grand, you say five hundred pounds deposit, it just put the two grand. That's what we say. I'm going to jump in here quickly and just say I hope you'll find this finance video useful. If you are, please give me some feedback by clicking on that thumbs up, click on that subscribe, ring on the bell to get a notification and of course share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my help videos, you can visit my website and I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's bought me a cup of coffee and left a donation in my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it does really help me to make more videos which I hopefully help you. So the reason finance is important, I've seen a couple of few places now. The life is a cheap moment, we all know that. Um, so feel free to read through this, but I'll give you a brief brief analysis at all. 51% of the bricks between 18 and 24 have less than a thousand pounds saved at the moment. This is as of last year, so it's probably worse now. Bricks between 25 and 34 are the age group with the large percentage of no savings. 42% have less than a thousand. And 41% of the bricks don't have enough savings to live for a month. So what we address that is, you know, it's your day to day living. A boil often is the plan of purchase. It can be a distress a purchase, something's gone wrong, boil's gone bang, customer needs it, and you know, over a third, nearly a half of people don't have enough money to pay for that order with that finance. So this is where our relationship surveillance um, come from. It's trying to fill those gaps and you know, the bottles. 
British Gas in particular is doing ninety percent of the boilers in finance now. It's trying to bridge that gap between you guys and the large companies. And finance is not only not only needed, it's so popular. You know, TVs, phones, cars, whatever you want, you can probably finance it now. And since this has been created this presentation, the actually finance just be paid with. So <laughs> if you can't afford a twenty pound pizza, probably best you yeah, it shows you five answers everywhere. It's online, you know, if you're doing post shopping on ASOS or something, again, five answers for it. And as uh, Matt mentioned about the targets for heat pumps, again, this isn't just for boilers, it's for bathrooms and heat pumps as well, just with they should have heat pumps. To get to those targets, the government's got without a, but one, more installers, and then two, that finance is going to be very difficult. So that's why we've launched the new partnership with they and the heat side as well. Quick recap, so again, you can get the packages of plans through the Better Farms app. There are multiple plans available. There's for boilers, bathrooms and heat pumps. Finance is, I won't dwell on it, finance is needed, not stand by because I work for a finance company, but hopefully you guys know what we're shooting there. Uh, and if you've got any questions at the end, feel free to come and grab me because I know we have much time left, but I'll be mingling, so come on and uh, say hello and I can ask any questions. And there's also a leaf for it in every single one of your bags, so if you want to skip some of your question finish it. Well, well, thank you, Chris. Well, guys, it's no sign of you so far on the building. Don't forget to grab your good plans at the end before you leave the building as well. Um, so I just want to do a little recap. I just want to say, guys, thank you uh, for coming along today. Uh, no time is valuable, so you've got stuff to do this afternoon. I'm sure we're not going to go back to a lot of training away. Um, so um, what I want to say is, um, Look, there's, there's a lot of tech that's gone on um, with, with the, the connectivity thing and the new gas technology. Uh, but I want you to own this. Uh, in the words of Tom Hanks at the end of Saving Private Ryan, as he's shooting the gun against this tiger tank, earn this. Take control. Take control of this. Own the product. This is your product. You're going to be servicing it. You're going to be installing it. You're going to be promoting it. Chase has given you an option now. So you don't have to, okay, cash is king. We know that cash is king, especially in Portsmouth. Uh, this is very much the case. You knock on the door, very first thing the homeowner's going to ask you, how much can you do it for cash, money? We all know that goes on. Um, the second payment option is bank transfer. That's a big lump of money, guys. Two and a half, three grand. That's a big lump of money. Fine if you've got it in your, you know, set in your bank account. Um, third option, Credit card readers. Who's hands in the air? Who's got credit card readers? Oh, that's a few of you. Okay. Well, I looked at my credit card statement the other day and it said 25.7% APR. I thought, stop that. Who can afford that? So, <clears throat> interest free. Come on, what is there not to buy? You buy cars on interest free, you buy your sofa from DFS interest free, you're now going to offer boilers interest free. Spread your payments. This border is going to be more efficient than the border you're going to be taking off. It's going to save gas. It's going to save energy. It's going to reduce your carbon footprint of your house. What is there not to like? Yes, I know it's expensive, you know, 1200 quid. It's a big lump of money for a border. We know that. But that is going to correctly serviced and maintained. That is going to give you 10 to 15 years service life, minimum. Absolute minimum. And it's future proof. All right, so that is me done. Remember the 940F Gateway Unit. Um, I know it's out there at the moment. We're in a bit of a transitional moment. Old boilers are still available. New boilers are coming on. So we're at this crossover moment. So apologies for that. Um, you you will be able to get product in a minute uh, because people are going to be asking you for. Well, oh, don't want the old payment. I want the new payment. Oh, the, the old one discount. The old one. The old one. So we haven't got it completely right, guys. We know that there's still blips along the way. But um, in in a minute, in the next six months, you are going to be completely over to the new border. So any of you that wants to come on the training, uh, we have got training days to help you familiarise yourself with the new border. It's a transition course. Most of you will be familiar with, largely familiar with it anyway. <laughs> but come and see me at the end. Um, before you leave the building, we'll get you booked in. Uh, we have got training dates available for the autumn, uh, just before the silly season kicks off, uh, to get you ready for the new boiler. 
And again, guys, that's me done. Thank you very much for attending today. Appreciate you giving up the time. Um, and uh, those of you that want to go, please don't forget your goodie bag. And thanks again, guys. Right, that's about it then. So if you want to watch Valiant's presentation on their brand new Ecotech Plus combination boiler, you can click on the link just here. If you want to watch their heat pump presentation, click on the link just there. Give me some feedback by giving me a thumbs up, click on subscribe, ring the bell for notification, and of course, share the video. And it's always my toolbox fund. Bye for now. See you next time.